If you're looking for a fuel efficient vehicle, look no further than a four cylinder engine. Today I'll show you the difference between a boxer and an inline four cylinder. Underneath the hood of this Subaru BRZ is a two liter four cylinder boxer engine. A great feature of the boxer engine is how low the engine is to the ground. Keeps your center of gravity down low, making a light car, especially like this one, very fun in the twisties. You may be asking, why is it called a boxer? Instead of the cylinders being vertical, they're horizontal and they're opposed and they kind of punch back and forth. Since the pistons of the boxer oppose each other, it naturally smooths out all those vibrations, making these things such a joy to ride. Very smooth ride, you'd be surprised. One might say a negative about these cars is just the overall reliability and especially the maintenance costs. Since the cylinders are so hard to access on sides, if things goes wrong, lots of labor time spent pulling things apart. Something I don't hear talked about much is how much better a boxer engine is at cooling compared to an inline four. It's not very significant, but just the way the cylinders are opposed, they typically are easier to keep cool than something where all the cylinders are bunched together closely. Underneath the hood of this Cadillac is a two liter inline four cylinder engine one of the most famous engines used in many, many vehicles. The weight of an inline four engine is typically lighter than you'll see in a boxer engine. This is great because less weight means more speed, weight reduction. The biggest pro of the inline four is definitely just how simple it is. Low maintenance cost because everything is accessible up top here. Simple makes the vehicles typically cheaper than their boxer alternatives as well. This is typically how an inline four engine sounds. Another main reason people take a boxer engine over the inline four is just the sound alone. I'll show you how it sounds. Give us a call 780-942-3629.